Hey, don't go anywhere, because coming up, we've got a brand new episode of My Parents Are Aliens. Darius is here as well, and he's risking having his arm gnawed off by piranhas. Oh, my God, look at those. Not only that, our very own band, Noise Next Door, are going to be here performing their debut single and the ministry theme too. This morning, all this. We've got another new episode of My Parents Are Aliens for you. Looking forward to walking the plank? Yes. Darius is with us all morning. Make sure you don't miss the Piranha Challenge. Nice sharp teeth. Well, Darius is up for it, and we hope you are too, as we give you the chance to get involved in Cakey Skate. Your butt itches. Mm, nice. And Josh's grandma comes to stay in our top US comedy, Drake and Josh. The noise next door playing us in. Woo! And you may be thinking you're seeing tremendous because you are the triplet. Doing. We are live. It is a Saturday morning. You're watching the Ministry of Mayhem. I'm Stephen. I'm Michael. And I'm back. Oh. Better known as Holly. Oh, was that an hour of... Oh, oh no. We, 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 it's a joy to Ooh. have you back. Absolutely. Now, let me... T oh, oh. oh, steady on. Easy <laughs> now. Now, yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 you're <laughs> the head of that way. Of course, Darius is with us all morning. Uh, the noise next door, loads from them later on as well. But can I have your attention, everyone? Seriously, all the guests and everyone, Doctor, Ray, everyone. Uh, what you need to do is head off to the, uh, to the prop stores and see Carl, our security guard. Uh, give us a wave, Carl. Good man. Uh, you need to pick up a bucket of gunk that he's been working up all morning. Right. Uh, you need to pick it up, right? Yeah. And you need to bring it back to the sofa. Right. Okay. Now, the last one back is going to get the lot. Right. Seriously. Now, Michael, you're listening up. Hang on. Why are you concentrating on me specifically? It's fine. Never mind, all right? All you've got to do is... Not yet. <laughs> Run! Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, Someone's oh, left oh, Excuses rule. Right, no, no, wait, no, no, wait. No, the big baby. Give it to him now. Yeah. Come on. Lovely. Beautiful work. Beautiful. Oh. Looking great, mate. Sort it out, Mick. Yeah, sorry about that. Sort it out. Now. Made neck up this morning. <laughs> Have a look at this because I'm going to show you a picture of a UFO. Oh, and if you can guess what it is, then you can win yourself loads of prizes here on the Ministry this morning. Here's a little clue. It's something that you will find outdoors. Now, if you think you know, get in touch, because we've been playing this game in nine minutes. All the details are on the screen right now, so please get in touch. Remember to leave your name and contact details so we can play with you live on the Ministry in nine minutes. Yeah. Has that got about got it all off? No, yeah, it's off. Great. Uh, now, <laughs> in literally a minute or so's time, you're going to see another brand new episode of My Parents <laughs> Radians. Uh, but, hey... I've got some serious news now. This is serious. It's fact. Someone here has parents that really are aliens. But who is it? Let's find out. Darius? Hey, man, don't look at me. You know, my parents are down the line definitely not aliens. Okay. All right, well, if it's not Darius, then um, it must be the noise next door. Your parents aliens? No. 
Really? Okay. Well, um, there must be somebody over here whose parents are aliens. Um, are your parents aliens? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Are you sure? Are, they, are, they, are you sure they're not aliens? No. no. How can you no. explain this then, Mr. Oh, please Martin? don't wind me up. <laughs> Have oh, a look. No. That is my mum and dad. Oh, boy, boy. Morning, mum and dad. Love you lot. That took them 12 hours. <laughs> it did. Got all the tinfoil and everything. Now, you see, that, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Is that embarrassing? I was saying to everyone else, I was going, oh, that's going to be so embarrassing for one of them. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh the embarrassment's oh. there. Now, he's not the only one that's got aliens as parents, because these guys do too. Yes, it's another brand new episode <laughs> of My Parents. If you enjoyed that, the good news is the second part will be along very, very soon. Now, obviously, to celebrate aliens coming to the ministry, we came up with our very own alien game called... Unidentified Flying Object! Or, or just UFO. Yes, yeah. the Doctor has been catapulting items and objects into space, and you have to guess what they are, and if you know, you could win a prize. Look him stretching up there, look, looking great there, Doc. Looking fabulous. He's going to be in his lab a bit later as well. And there's a bit of a surprise with the doc. More about that later. But now, let's check out what's up for grabs uh, in UFO today. We've got FIFA 2005, also the games consoles to play it on. Uh, we've also got the TV uh, and the Power Rangers Ninja Storm, plus the DVD player to play it on. Power Rangers, sound like Jonathan Ross there. OK, uh, we, let's go to the phone lines. Uh, who's there? Hello? Hello? Hello, who's that? It's Jamie. Good morning to you, Jamie. How are you? All right. Good, good, all right. Uh, have you had your breakfast? Yeah. What did you have? Um, he's on toast. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go and see what the UFO could be. Uh, keep your eye on the TV there, Jamie. Look, have a look at that. Jamie, wh what do you think it is, mate? Um, is it a... Oh, I don't know. Well, you phoned up. Have a guess. A sweet? Is it like a sweet? A bald sweet in a wrap? A, a sweet? Well, it, it's obviously a big sweet. Yeah, um, it's an outdoor that. object. So, oh, actually, it's an outdoor object. So, do you think it's all right to throw sweets around? No. Actually, you're wrong. Sorry, Jamie, mate. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you later. Mm. Bye, mate. Bye-bye. Uh, OK, uh, let's move on to line two. Who's there? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm OK, thank you. Good. What's your name? Victoria. How are you doing, Victoria? Who's in the house with you this morning? Um, my mum and my brother. Oh, lovely. Hello to mum and brother. OK, what do you think it is? Um, an awesome leaf. A leaf? Yeah. OK, Victoria, have a great weekend. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, Victoria, say it was drunk. OK, uh, let's go to line three. Uh, who's on line three? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. Good stuff. What's your name? Chloe. Sorry? Chloe. Chloe. I don't know why I'm moving close to the TV. Like, OK, uh, Chloe, uh, good luck to you. All three prize could be yours. What do you think it is? It's a, a colourful item. Name. A garden gnome. A garden gnome. Do you know something? You could be right. Doc, Doc. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah, that's right. The UFO is one gnome. <laughs> it's a garden gnome, everyone. Yeah. Launch it off. Go on, Doc. Launch another one. Go on, baby. Winner. Nicely done, Doc. And congratulations to you. You've won the TV, the DVD player, and the game console. Are you happy? Yeah. Good stuff. Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, Steve, I'm just watching that. I was thinking, you know, <laughs> Go on. why can't aliens have a cup of tea? <laughs> I don't know. Go on. <laughs> because the flying saucers. <laughs> you see what I did was I, I did a word play the funny that was related to UFO. UFO? Yeah. UFO! <laughs> UFO. No, UFO. UFO. No, the other thing. UFO! Oh. Yeah, thank you. Well done, Chloe there. Oh, thank you, Doc. <laughs> You'll be pleased there. We will be playing more UFO next week. Yeah, now my parents are aliens part two is on the way very soon indeed. Remember, mom's, mom's the, the word. word. In honour of that, I've got my own game. It's called Unidentified Frying Object. So right. basically, I've deep fat fried an object, a, a food item, and one of these two has to taste it. They have no idea what it is. So who am I going to pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, Michael. Oh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, that took a lot of thought. <laughs> OK, so, Michael, yeah. you need to close your eyes. Right. Because I'm going to reveal to everybody what this item is at home. So if you don't want to know what it is, look away now. OK, that's it. 
So, are we ready to do this? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? It's grim, isn't it? Okay, Michael, keep your eyes shut. Stephen, is it bad? Good luck, mate. Keep your eyes shut, taste boy, and open your mouth. Because this is bad news. Ready? I can smell open, it. Open, open. Big bite. Big bite. Chunk. What is it? Another bite? Little bite? What is it? What is it? You've got to swallow it. Swallow. What is it? I don't recognise it. It tastes a bit vinegary. Go on, what is it? Wait, I've got a bit more. Ooh. Okay, it's gone. What is it? Eat a pickled egg. Yay! Yeah! Okay. But don't waste Deep it. fat fried pickled egg. No. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, right, they release their double A side a week on Monday. You've already heard one side, which is the very, our very own uh, theme tune to the Ministry of Mayhem. It's now time for the other side, and it's called Lock Up Your Doors. Oh, my mum tried to, but I snuck out. I'm sure you did. <laughs> it's the noise next door! <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. I you? love it. Yes, cool. I do, and I'm going to buy it. Oh, do you know what? That's like my bestest dream, that is. What is? What? The noise next door. Oh, which one? All of them. Oh, you greedy girl. <laughs> yeah. Do you move on? Stephen! Stephen, don't get your thing. Oh, yeah. Don't get your thing. Yeah, now, yeah. this is something we started last week. It's like to build the tension. We okay. build the tension and stuff. It's good. Drum last week. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Trumpets? Oh, they always do that. Can, can you play the trumpet? Yes. OK, OK. <clears throat> Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> yes, the moment has arrived. <laughs> it's time for my pet. My pet. My. Don't. My pet. My 
parents. <laughs> no, really. My pet. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My pet. Don't you hit me. <laughs> You can see, Lee Beats, you can see another brand new episode of My Parents Are Aliens next week. There we are. Now, do you know something? Uh, still to come this morning. Cuckoo, we... Steve! Oh, come on, see my nuts. Come on. <laughs> come on, Steve. I'm going to walk around here, so come over this oh, side. Come on. Oh, oh, ah, how are we doing, Steve, have fun. Good and Morgan. Oh, dog. Oh. You like? <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of volume. Just More about that later. Yeah, my stylist Paul did it for me. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's good. Hey, you know what these are? <laughs> oh, that is a conker. What no, are conkers? Yeah. It, or in Germany, we call them knickers, knackers, canockers. <laughs> no, I'm just spoofing you. Oh. But you know, in this Britain, Steve, which you call great, children everywhere <laughs> are being told to stop the conkers. Well, do you know, I know about it. Tell, tell them why. Well, because they think it is dangerous, and I just think it is, it is the, the nanny state, it is political correctness gone mad, and this is like the start of fascism, and we must fight them on the beaches, we must fight them in the playground, and we must stick it just like they don't... I didn't have the frying pan, that's why the sound effect was wrong. Okay. <laughs> now, Doc, listen, uh, get it together. Yes, Steve, well, you see, I, as a doctor, yeah. have had an idea, you see, and I have created this genetically modified, freaky, oh. bonkers conker, okay? Yeah. Now, inside that is concealed a golden conker, right? So all the kids have to do is send me in their conkers. I will save them by battling them against the freaky conker. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. yeah, and if they win the golden conker, they get a trophy like that. How about that? There yeah. you go. Now, you see the name on that. This is Harry Alston, because Harry has sent in this con here. There we are. And we've got a picture of him. He's nine years old. Good morning to you, Harry. How are you, mate? Now, listen, the idea is uh, Doc has got 30 seconds to use Harry's conker to try and beat this one. And if the golden conker does fall out and fall down there, then quite simply, Harry will get the trophy and we'll go on our leaderboard. That's right, Steve. Ooh. Right, you ready? OK, ready. OK, let's put 30 seconds on the clock and let's play Bonkers and conkers. Here we go. Go, Doc. Oh, oh good. Oh, 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 oh first it, could, it could be uh, straight away. Oh, Doc. Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. Oh, yes. You can do it. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it's come out. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, Oh, brilliant. Look, you are our very first winner. You are a conquering hero. You've got look, your picture on our leaderboard. How many seconds was that? 14, 14 seconds, well okay. Done. There you go. Seven Good yet. man, Harry. And this is on its way to you. Now, the big question is, do you want to be a conquering hero as well? Well, quite simply, all you have to do is get your conkers in to us. Come on, Doc. Give us a game, Steve. Oh, so if you do have a conquer at home and you think it can take on the doctor's bonkers conquers, then you need to send it in on its string to the address that is on the screen right now. There's a few other things you need to do. You need to tell us whether it's a two-er, a 29er, and we yeah. need all those sort of details. Now, if you don't know what that means, because I actually didn't, it means if it's won two conquers championships yeah. or 29 conquers championships, yes. And you also need to tell us whether you've done anything to make it hard. Like, va like varnish it, because you can varnish your conquers. Or hairspray. <laughs> Can you put yes. on them? Oh, yes. Really? Okay. Yeah, very good. Get uh, them in. Yeah, get them in and good luck with that. Now, that's not the only battle going on today. Oh, no, there's another one too. It's going to be until Darius is taking on Scott from The Boys Next Door. The Noise Next Door? The Boys Next Door. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. The and they live next door. Next door. Yeah. Uh, the Noise Next Door in this. Oh, oh, look at that. I feel useless. Oh. You are. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rachel! It's on the way! It's the mighty Cakey Skate! Oh, I tell you, so who do you reckon's gonna win, Ray? Ooh, you're my winner, Stephen. Oh, is that right? He can't remember, can he? That's what he's doing. He can't remember his play. If he's you've been told. Okay, now listen, we've had a new idea, okay? It's called the four minute win it. Now, quite simply, you've got four minutes to win a prize. And today, look, it's his strike. You can't win Ray, because he's ours. Yeah. Right, now the thing is, all you have to do is have a look at Kegerscape. We were practicing it earlier on, just to get ready, weren't we, Ray? We were, Stephen. Well, we were warming up. All you've got to do is tell us what happened next. It's as simple as that. Have a look at this. Yes, it is Keg Escape, the celebrity challenge. It does exactly what it says on the Baker tin. Now you know the rules of the game by now, but just in case you have switched on, let me explain. Okay, so what happened next? Did Stephen A fall over, 
B, get caked, or C, get crushed. Mm, if you think you know, then you need to get in touch as quickly as possible. You can phone us 09013 800 830, or you can text us. What you need to do is text cake and your answer, A, B, or C, and your full name to 83000. Do it now. You can email us, um, that's mom at itv.com, but I have to stress, you have four minutes to win it. So what are you waiting for? Yeah, come on. Four minutes to win it. You've got to be quick. Good luck. Remember, mum's the word. <laughs> to uh, get in total contact with us, however, and, and win this prize, all right? It's the trike kit. And also, the noise next door, look, they've chucked that in as well, all signed up. Their drum skin from their drum kit. Very nice. Now, we asked you what happened next when we were practicing Cake Escape this morning, and uh, we showed you the clip. Let's reveal the answer. Yes, it is Cake Escape, the celebrity challenge. It does exactly what it says on the Baker team. Now, you know the rules of the game by now, but just in case you have switched on, let me explain. What happens is, celebrities, uh, cat spot cake, up the wall of the... Oh! Oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> 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 my, my, I'm glad you find it so funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really. Hurt. And I also did my hair as well. There we are. <laughs> uh, okay, the answer was A, of course. Um, and these prizes are on their way to you. But do you know something? I did yeah. fall over. Yeah. But I did fall over with Grace. She's a lovely girl. <laughs> nice, well done. Uh, and the winner of the competition is Sarah Pernan from Northern Ireland. Sarah, congratulations. The drum skin and the scooter are on their way to you. Absolutely. But now apparently, Holly wants to say something. Uh, yes, I do want to say, come over here and give a huge round of applause for our guest in the ministry. It's Darius Delay. Wow. Hello. Hey. Welcome to the ministry. Now, you Great are. Good to be here. Yeah, it's good you to have you. You kind of sat like a little Buddha. Thank you. It's the stomach. <laughs> like at school. <laughs> now, um, you are named after a Persian king, aren't you? That's right. And we have a game fit for kings. You right. are going to be playing cakey skates. Awesome. How do you think you're going to do? I'm getting a bit nervous, actually, because I'm looking at it, and it's really tall. It is massive. Who's the best one? Well, so far, Jennifer Ellison and Blimmy are right at the top there, but we'll have to see how you do in a bit. Right, well, I'll do my best. Now, um, you're here as well because you've got your new single coming out. It comes out on the 18th, doesn't Kinda it? Kind of love, on Monday. Kind of love. And then the following week, you've got your album out. That's right. It's so a busy week. It is a busy week for you. Well, let's take a look at the video. Oh, fantastic stuff. Thank now, it is you. called a Kind of Love, so is that about anyone in particular? Kind of love. Well, I didn't meet you before I'd written it, so um, I can't say oh, that. Oh, he's so yeah. smooth. Do you know what, with the likes of Natasha Henstridge in your video, I'm surprised you're looking at any other female on the planet. Well, I'm, I'm a very lucky guy. I shot the video in the south of Spain, mm -hmm. and uh, they shot it in Tarifa, where they have the Wind Kite Surfing Championships. And just behind where we were shooting it with the forest, there were guys surfing in kites oh, with, wow. with uh, surfboards on their feet, flying 20 meters off the air, off the, off the water. It was amazing. That is amazing. Well, I'll tell you what also is amazing. I've been doing all my research on you, Darius, mm -hmm. and Purely for the ministry purposes, of course. Now, I have found out many things about you which makes you too good to be true. Now, the first thing I found out was that as a baby, Darius here used to hum himself to sleep, which obviously makes you very sweet. Well, okay. that's, that's true. You've done your homework. Yeah, that's the first thing. Okay. Next thing, when you were 14, you joined the officer training corps, didn't you? That's right. As um, so part of the military. For the army. Which means that you're also protective and strong, not only sweet, all of that. Yeah, and then at age nine, you promised your mum that if you did the housework for an entire year, she'd buy you a guitar, right? Yeah. So that means you're also hardworking and kind. You've been too flattering. Well, well, but not only that, so this is where it goes on, uh -huh. you also, not only do you play the guitar, you play the keyboard, the piano, the saxophone and the violin. But not very well. Well, but hang on. Go on. I think you're having a right old laugh. I think you're trying to pull the wool over my eyes, and these eyes will not have wool pulled over them, Mr. Darius Dinesh. I don't believe you. It's written down in your biog, but I think your biog's full of big, hairy falsehoods. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So let's prove it. Let's bring these instruments on, because the proof is in the tasting of the pudding, as they say. That's Ray's keyboard. It's Ray's keyboard. <laughs> so come on then, Darius. Let's play. Does it work? Board. Right, if I play a song, you tell me what you think it is. Let's volume, volume up. <laughs> Oh, it's colourblind. Oh, OK, well done. Very good. You proved that. Guitar, you all know I can play the guitar. Otherwise, how would I write my songs? Oh, it's so pretty. OK, that's that one. Well done. Let's um, do the next one. Ooh. Oh, my God, the violin. That's just like a little guitar, Darius. Well, this one's broken. and OK, it's got four strings. If well, 
why doesn't everyone, um, don't, not done this in ages, if everyone stamps the feet for me like this, no, like this. One, two, two three, three, four. four. One, two, Tell me two, what this is. Uh, white stripes. Da, 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 da. Very good. Yeah, white stripes. Well done. Rock on the violin. And what have we got here? A saxophone. Well, this one's an alto sax. Oh. I play the tenor, so this one is a bit small on me. But excuses, excuses. Here's an hour. Let's um, uh, what could I play? I know, right? Try and guess what this is. These words, Natasha Bedingfield. Oh, very good. Do you know what? He has not let us down. Darius, Dinesh, everybody. You are a real man, and I feel a real kind of love for you. He's, isn't he brilliant? Do you know something, Darius? Hey, do you know what, mate? If you want to go and get ready for cake set, that'll be brilliant. Awesome. It's I like think a music. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I think he's going to be brilliant at cake Do you know something? Well. You make me sick with all your lovey-dovey acting. What, do you know what? You make me feel sick, full stop. Well, at least I don't act like you. Well, at least I don't go around making people call me, oh, yes, the wizard. Uh, before you open that hole on your face to squeak, let me just show you his checkbook. Have a look at that. All checks made payable to the wizard, if you please. You, yeah. You've been in my bag. I've been in your wizardy bag. You shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, I love going to the gym, don't you, Michael? Yeah. Makes you feel like you're really doing something. Where's Stephen? Um, I just started leaving him in the changing rooms today. Oh. Oh, here he comes. Morning. Morning. So, uh, what speed you can do today then, Stephen? <coughs> What speed you gonna do today? The wizard, the wizard shall run the speed of a pro magician, the speed of light to the sun and back again, whilst flying on the wings of magic. Watch. Yeah, I'll get it. Here you go. So, uh, what's the usual again today, then, Stephen? One mile an hour. That is a sufficient speed for the wizard. Yeah. There you go, proof if proof isn't it. What are you not doing? Don't do that. If Stephen catches you doing that, he's going to go ape. Well, do you know, sir, so I can see you all in the monitor, yeah? And I'm not amused. Sorry, Sorry the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> you will be triplet, boys. <laughs> Here's Kegscape. Okie dokie, yes, now you know the rules. Just in case you don't, very quickly, let me explain. Look, we've got this skateboard here. Celebrities, two of them in a minute, are going to place a cake down there. They're going to catapult it up the wall, and the one that gets it the highest is the biggest star in the ministry this morning. Now, you've already seen them perform our very own track to the Ministry of Mayhem from the noise next door. Uh, we've got Scott, and we've also got the one and only Darius Dinesh! <laughs> Come. Here we go. Where's Scott? He's an owl. And where were you done with him? Where's Scott? Um, I organised a little accident. Oh, here he is. Hello, Scott. Hey, mate. How there you doing? Oh, too bad. That's you can make it, mate. Right, OK. <laughs> now, the skateboard is here, guys. Yes. The You're, golden skateboard. The gold, it is there, all right? So we seem to have everything. All right, we've got Darius, we've got Scott, we've got a skateboard, we've got the wall. All we now need is that dolly. Oh, yes. It is Polly with the trolley. Oh, here she is. Oh, I like this one. All right, boys. Hello, lovely celebrities. All right. Hey, right, listen. Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. Did you enjoy your holiday? Oh, a lovely time. Really good. Good stuff. Now, the oh. idea, fellas, is that Polly here is going to help you out and advise you on your cakes. Now, what can you... Uh, tell us about your cakes first of all. Oh, I've got lovely... Look at this one. This is my favourite. It's got beads on it and you can actually eat them. This one's got custard and this one's got strawberries and lovely nuts. How about that? Now, Scott, you are going to go first. Good luck to you. What can you recommend, Polly? Well, obviously, Scott is a part of a triplet set. Mm. They're all related. So, I have some very special cakes. Oh, my word, they're all stuck together. This right here is not a 
Tiramisu, it's a trio miso. Oh, look at that. Oh, now, the thing is, Scott, don't make up your mind yet. No, 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 no. What do you think at home? Should it have that cake? Should it have it? What do we think in the ministry? Should it have that cake? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, mix of views there, mix of views there. So, do you want that one or do you want to pick your own? Oh, I think I'll pick my own. Oh, good man. All right, which one would you like? All right, Scott. Uh, pick a nice What's gooey gonna one. What's he going to go for? I think That's I'll it. go for this one. Good stuff, good man. All right, Scott, pop it down just there. That's it. And if you come around with me, Scott, brilliant. Let's go to the phone line now because uh, we should have uh, Jack McNichol. Jack, are you there? Hi, yes, Stephen. Good morning to you, Jack. How you doing? I'm fine. How's Jill? Oh, okay. Stacey. <laughs> no, 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 I'm so, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. OK, I might get a season if I keep going. Now, the thing is, <laughs> right, the deal is this. Um, if you can correctly predict, Jennifer Ellison, still in the lead, look, uh, she has six metres, all right? And Blimmy's up there. I can't see his face, but he is up there. And uh, they're at the very top. They're in the lead. Now, you've got to try and beat that. But, Jack, you've got to try and predict whether Scott will get it higher or lower. Now, if you are right, OK, if you're right, then Scott is going to get a pie in the face. But if you're wrong, I'm going to get it in the face. So choose wisely. What do you think? Will you get it higher or lower than six metres? Lower. Right. If you do get it lower than six metres, you're going to get a pie in the face. All right? So you've got to try and get to the very top. Ooh. Good luck to you, mate. OK, take your position. Here we go. Let's have a drum roll, please. Oh. In three, two, one. Fire! Ooh. How high? Well, he got it up about four metres, the same as Jenny from Croatia Street. Four metres, nicely done. But the thing is, Sandy, mate, come over this side, Scott. Come over this side. Sorry, mate. You, you look checked hey, in to say you get it lower, which means you do get a pie in the face. Look, and it's going to match your hair. Look. Oh, oh. lovely. Oh, you mate. Are so look. Cruel. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Darius, you're up next. Okay. What could? What cake do you think for Darius? Well, uh, for Darius, before we go anywhere, I just want to have a little chat with Darius. Darius, is there anything in your sort of history of your career that you've ever found slightly sort of, you know, embarrassing, maybe? Embarrassing? No, the only thing I, I wouldn't have go done... On, go on, tell me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Really? Go on, then. Oh! <laughs> and she's broke Darius's nose. No. me, I'm back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you don't look at that! It's more... You dirty man! <laughs> you leave her alone! That's quite nice. Right, OK, let's get on with the game. Darius, I have a lovely cake for you. <laughs> Bad man. Um, and it is actually this one. It is a Darius Danish pastry. Right. Oh. OK. Uh, what do, you, do you want that one? Yes or no? Yeah, absolutely. I'm fuming, oh, Darius. <laughs> She's I'm, put a cherry on it for yes, me and absolutely. Right, let's pop that down here. <laughs> it's not going to make much mess. OK, now, I'll tell you what we'll do. Good luck to you, yeah. right? OK. Will he get it higher or lower than Scott? OK, from Noise Next Door. What do we think? Higher or lower? Higher! Higher! Yeah, well, um, right, let me pick someone. Um, Alan, are you coming? Come over this side, mate. Right, what's your name? Oscar, good to see you, Oscar. And how old are you? Uh, 11 years old. You got a girlfriend? No. Nope. Okay, hold her hand. <laughs> hold her hand. I'm <laughs> Now, seriously, Scott, well, what we're going to do, like we did with Jack on the phone line, you've got to predict, will Darius get it higher or lower than four metres? Now, if you get it right, OK, then you won't get a pie in the face. But if you get it wrong, <laughs> I'll get a pie in the face, all right? So you've got to try and get it right to save yourself from getting a pie, all right? So what do you think? Higher or lower than four metres? I think you'll get it higher. You're right. If he doesn't get it higher, you're going to get a pie in the face, my man. Sorry. Okie dokie. Darius, good luck to you. Here we go, then. Let's have a drum roll, please. Oh. He's got to get it higher than four metres. In three, two, one, fire! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, it didn't go anywhere. Look, have a look. Max on camera's look. Do you know something? That was ridiculous. Oh. You don't come near her. Right, now. Scott from Noise Next Door, first of all, he's the biggest star in the ministry this morning. Yeah. And sadly, Oscar, Oscar, come over this side, Max on camera four, come over this side. Oscar, you are going to be wild at this. Oh. Here we go. You ready? Oh, don't R him. Here we go. There you go, good man. That's a real shame, that, isn't it? Absolutely. Good cakey yeah, skate this week, good cakey skate. I've got to say, still to come, check out this guy here. This is Darius, of course. Is he man enough to put his arm in a tank full of real piranhas? You can find out soon. Remember, mum's the word. Oh, it's just on me now. Welcome back.
to the Ministry of Mayhem. If you just join us, you've missed loads of stuff, but there's fantastic things still to come. Have you got yourself cleaned up now, Anthony? I think I have. I think I've still got chocolate cake in my hair. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm picking it out of my ear from where you were giving me. I'm well, sorry, man. You yeah, know, I love you. Let's Let not mean. go there. Now, is it true you're a bit of a James Bond fan? I love Bond. Yeah? You know, Sean Connery is my hero. Of course, and being Scottish as well. Yes, he's um, he's quite a gentleman. They're looking for a new Bond. What do you reckon? You? No, no, I'm, I'm too busy with my guitar singing songs. Is that right? Kind of loves out of money, and if I don't get that out, I'll be in trouble. But would you like? Do you like the idea of being a James Bond though? Um, no, that sort of got spy thing. Do you know what? I might do it in a music video. That'd be fun. Ah, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to make your dream come true right now. We're going to give you a James Bond-style initiation test to see if you really have got what it takes. Are you up for this? Yeah, man. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's just say it's an aqua activity involving killer piranha fish. Good luck. <laughs> Right, here we have Darius Dinesh, internationally known singer-songwriter. He's written hundreds of albums and songs. They're all brilliant. <laughs> but down here, we have these guys. Follow me down, Darius, because these are the most deadliest freshwater fish in the world. Take a look at these guys in action. They have no mercy when they find their prey at all. They tear I them to I think I might recognise that one. I do a lot of scuba diving, and that's a mean one. Do you he, know what? He ripped a chunk off my, my mate's Should leg. I tell you a story about these Go guys? On. Once upon a time in Brazil, a boat capsized and 300 people went into the water and these guys ate them alive, limb from limb, no mercy. They are pretty evil. So, Darius, pretty ugly. So let what? me explain what you've got to do. You uh -huh. are going to plunge your naked arm into this tank of piranhas. Now, we've spoken to the experts and they say that you can do this for a maximum of 10 seconds. But if at any point, if you want to take your hand out, you must do that. If any fish looks at you funny, you get your hand out of there, OK? Now, Go we on. must have absolute silence in the studio while they do this, OK? And also, if any of you are mad enough to have piranhas as pets at home, you must not try this, because we do have experts literally spitting distance away over there to come in if anything goes wrong. So, Darius, how are you feeling? I'm feeling confident, you know? I'm, I just can't believe that. Do you know what? I'm amazed to see if you're still feeling confident when we finish this, so... If I've still got flesh on my arm when I pull it out, make me a cake. Okay, I will do. All right, are we ready? Get ready to do this, Darius, in your own time. Don't want to lose my special lucky bracelet. No, so I'm gonna give I'll you hold that. that. Send it home to my mother if my okay, arm doesn't I come will. out. Okay, I will. Good luck, Darius. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. How long? How long have we got? Four seconds. Five. Oh, get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! <laughs> don't, don't do that. Darius, no, no, that's not, that's not funny. You really, really frightened me. <laughs> this was supposed to be a test for you, not for me. You know hey. what? You are one brave man. Let's give Darius a round of applause for that, I think. <laughs> now, one thing, Darius. Oh, can you... we feed them? Yeah, but hang on, I'm going to do this because you're a bit of a moron. Right? <laughs> you might put your head in there or something. So let's do this. This is what could have happened now. These fish haven't been fed for a while, so it takes them a little bit because they're not used to being in, in a studio. And at the moment, they're probably going, oh, we're in a studio. Oh, we're in a studio. So it might take a while. OK, we're going to go to Michael, and I'm going to call you back when it all happens. Can we just can we just talk about the fact that those fish were absolutely going to go for him, weren't they? They were. They I were think they absolutely, because the whole thing is they spit to the side of the tank, and then when they get sort of their, all their thing up, they're compiling in, don't they? Yes. <laughs> was, that could have been very close. Okay. Um, we're going to wait and see if we get any action from them. While we're not, let's talk about X Factor. X Factor is an amazing show. 50,000 people applied, and if you'd got the X Factor and you're over 16, it was perfect. But what if you had the X Factor and you're under 16? What do we do? Absolutely. What do you do then? You know what you do? Go on. You get in contact with us at the Ministry of Mayhem because we have found some amazing talent all under 16 years old, no more so than the guy you're going to see now. And he's even got a touch of magic. Yeah. Go wild. It's Josh Miller. Whoa! Woo! Hello, my name is Josh and I'm the magic man. Today I'm going to show you some cool tricks. Can you see the handkerchief? If you like that, you'll love this. Well, I'm going to give you another chance so you can see, see the trick. Nothing in the bag.
Mum's word. Absolutely. Good man, Josh. Nicely done. Yeah, well done to you. Now, do you have what it takes to come here and show us the X Factor? If you have, get a video of you doing and performing your act and get it sent in. Absolutely. Make sure it is a tape so we can see your talent. Use your address, uh, Ministry of Mayhem, PO Box 901, ME14. 5XE, or you can just put mum, mum's the word, and uh, good luck to you, but you have to be under 16. Yeah, right? and if you are the ministry winner 2004 of our X Factor competition, you are going to get yourself a thousand pounds of equipment to improve your showbiz act. How about that? Absolutely. Can't be bad, can it? Cuckoo! Oh, hello. Steve, let me show you my talent. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come over this side. Oh, it's Come time on. to lock up your buns and burners. It's time for the lab job. Hi, fun, Steve. Hi, fun, baby. I'm the top of the science food chain. You know it. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know. You know, this week, Steve, I've been mostly doing them. Um, what is that noise next door, Steve? What? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's the noise next door, Spoof! Uh, ah. <laughs> OK, lads, you know, I'm enjoying the haircut and I admire your youth for spunk, but I can't abide the noise. Now, sling your schnitzel. Go on. Go! See you later, fellas. I blame the parents. Don, you're a bit harsh with them. Well, they need to learn, Steve. Is that right? Yeah. Have, have we got any signs? No, don't be stupid. This week I've been concentrating mostly on cross-stitching. You like? <laughs> I've done a little picture of Steve, look. <laughs> Where was this you like you, from? You like? <laughs> it's a good phrase. It absolutely is. Are yeah. we going to do some? Oh, yeah, well, you know, this week, Steve, I've been experiencing magnetism, something you would know very little about. I. Yeah, ah. you see, I have a lot of magnetism, you see. Right, you in my grasp, something? yeah. Look, and don't even look, five ball juggling, look. That's the three uh, balls on my eyeballs. Cheeky. Yeah. cheeky. Right, lend me two of your balls, Steve. OK. And I'll demonstrate my magnetism, OK. Right. There we go. Ooh. Oh, look at that. How good is that, eh? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Magnets inside. You see, this magnetism. You know, I can also use my magnetism to defy gravity, Steve. You know you can't. No way. Watch over here. See, a hand is quicker than the eye. Look, it's impossible. It is not. Do you believe me? Yes, I do. You're a crazy fool. Come over here. <laughs> Here's a paper clip. I'm going to defy gravity, OK? Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Look, don't. no hairs. No, nothing up there at all. Nothing there at all. Look, OK, don't let him see, cos he'll get sucked out the magic circle. Here's a <laughs> the magnet on top, you see? And now oh. it falls down. It's all, it's all magnetism. I know, it's all magnetism. I can also make a poltergeist effect with this, Steve. Can you? Here is my crazy fork, you see? Ooh. 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 Up it goes, up it goes. Look, you see, not using any hands. <laughs> How does he do it, boys and girls? <laughs> OK, thanks very much, Dave. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> Cheers. Here's a, here's a euro for your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Double wages this week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Are we going to do anything else? Yeah, uh, can you smell my biggie from there, Steve? I certainly can. I'm yeah, working up to it's, it. It's building. You see these two piles of paper clips? Yes. What I'm going to do is raise these magnetically through the palms of my hand, through the layer of rubber, flesh, bone, and whatever other bits of me there are. Okay, look. Magnets in balls, right? Uh, magnets on thin wood. You're telling me that you can pick these up and a magnet's going to travel through your hand, through the bones, through the blood, through the ligaments, everything. Doctor, no way, Jose. I know you're great, but you're not that good. Watch me now. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you place the magnets on the back of my hand, Steve. Right. That one there. Don't let them touch, because if we get those two magnets together, they will never come apart. That's because I'm so nervous. I can feel the magnetism <laughs> going through my bones, through my skin, through my blood, into my very being. Here's a guy there lifting up like oh. a worm or paper clips. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> That's almost good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit weak. <laughs> How does he do it? No. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it, Steve? Oh, <laughs> God. That is brilliant. Thank you, Doc, as always. Yeah, but you know, Steve, I haven't done my running experiences yet. Oh. Maybe you'd like to chase me. Might be funny. Shall I come then? But also, the lab this week hasn't been very explosive or destructive, so one moment. <laughs> Look it! <laughs> <laughs> Too long! Who is that? Who is that? Too long! You bad dog! Too long. Bah, he can't go smashing things! Oh, he's legged it. He's gone and legged it, you know. Uh, right, yeah, while they're doing that, why don't we play a game? Takeaway Challenge. We started it a couple of weeks ago in honour of Antidex's Saturday Night Takeaway, which you can see every Saturday on ITV1. There's only one thing to say, isn't there? Pizza Ray! -er! Come on, Ray, where's your takeaway? Oh. What, boy? Go on! Oh. Rev it, rev it! Audience.
this. Okay, let's take a look what's in here. We have got lots of items in this box for you. Uh, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. We have got a CD, a pair of lips, a watch, a highlighter pen, a rubber band, and an egg. Ooh. <laughs> and if you can tell us which object we're going to take away, then, uh, then you can win yourself a takeaway. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> Bad egg. <laughs> okay, so guys, look away now, because I'm going to remove an item. Look away, look away, look away. Well, no, no, I mean, yeah. seriously, look away, go. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, Holly is going to remove an item. You've simply got to see if you can work out which item goes missing. And if you get in contact, you could be getting yourself 50 pounds worth of free takeaway to eat tonight with you and your mates and your family. Brie, you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. I can't think what object's gone. No, <laughs> I can't either. Let's take a look. Okay, you say, ready? Mm. There it is, time starts now. <laughs> Which one is missing? Which of those six objects is gone? That's it. Time is up. No more. Now, what you need to do, if you think you know what item it is, you need to text mm. take and then your answer. And you also need to give us your full name to 83000, but you must do it right now. That's right. And if you are the lucky winner, then you will get yourself that £50 for the takeaway. It's definitely worth entering, isn't it? It totally is worth entering. Remember, you can also call us 09013 800 830, but please do it now. Remember, mom's, mom's the, the word. word. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you doing? Now, a couple of minutes ago, we gave you a takeaway challenge. We showed you six items. We took one away. Did you get it right? Well, the answer, of course, was an egg. <laughs> surprise, yes, surprise. surprise. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it was an egg. Have a look. Ready? Oh, one. Ooh, oh, winner! Money. That was actually a really good shot. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, the winner selected by the computer who got the right answer, it was Shannon Andrews. Shannon Andrews from Croydon. Shannon, congratulations. Oh, thanks, 50 quid with the takeaway on its way to you. That's a lot of chicken, isn't it? It is. Yeah. If you eat any more chicken, you're going to fly. Chicken, <laughs> chickens don't fly, do they? They do if you drop them. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Now then, coming up straight after Ooh. the Ministry of Mayhem today, we've got CD UK is going to be here with Cat Dealey. Thanks, Holly. We've got a star packed CD UK on the way with performances from Danny Minogue, Manic Street Preachers, Scissor Sisters, and Daniel Beddingfield. We've got exclusive new videos from Blue and Nelly with Christina Aguilera, plus I catch up with you two and Westlife. Keep it here. Yeah, make sure you do not miss today's CD UK. Oh, and make sure you don't miss this. It's time for the first part of today's. And you can see the second part of Drake and Josh very soon right here on the Ministry. Now, Darius, you've been our guest all morning. Hey, man, have good you had a good time? Here. I'm having a wicked time. So obviously I've cake... had cake in my face, <laughs> I've eaten cake. You have. You've had your hand in a piranha tank. I've, I've almost been eating myself. Let's have a look at that. If you missed it earlier, take a look. This is uh, Darius with his arm in a tank full of piranhas. There we go. Look at him go. Oh, he was close. Were you not worried at all at any point? Honestly? Yeah. Let me just tell you that I went and changed my phrases. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to that's enough? I think that's plenty. Uh, now, we've been sitting here, as you have, watching Drake and Josh. I've got to say it's about brothers, and you've got a couple of brothers, haven't you? I do, yeah. Who, who are they? Who have you got? What are their names? Uh, Aria is, um, is 20 years old. OK. And Cyrus is nine years old. Is Cyrus here? Cyrus is here. Where is, where, is he? Where is he? How do people... Oh, there he is. Hey, there, there you are, man. Oh, oh, is. Come over here. Oh, is he come, 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 confused? Come, come if on, you were to say hello very quickly, look at him. How's it going? Here we go. He has to get close to your mic because he hasn't got a microphone. So. Aww. Nice to meet you. Hiya, oh, yeah, sorry. Are you proud of your brother today? He's yeah. done well, hasn't he? Yeah. Now, you said you were the, what was your other brother's name, you said? Aria. Aria. Okay. Where's Aria? Well, I think Aria. we should meet Aria. He's here. Everyone go wild. It's Aria! <laughs> here he comes. That's it. Ed, you can make me onto stage, please. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's also another Aria there. Round of applause for him, please. <laughs> Yes. Now, uh, here's the trick. One of them is the real brother of Darius. The other one is a fake. But is it number one or is it number two? That's the game we're going to play right now. You can play along at home. The studio audience would like oh, you to play man. along too. And Stephen and Holly, you are the ones who are going to be asking the questions and trying to work <laughs> it out. So are you ready for this? Yes. OK, let's play Double Trouble. So we're looking for Darius's real brother. Is it one or two? Stephen, your first question, please. Well, do you know something? One of them looked at Darius on the way down and went like this. He went, so I think of a bit of clue Okay, I, uh, to number one, what is Darius's birthday? Where, what date is it? Uh, the 19th of August. Oh, and it sounds like I Darius. know, doesn't he? <laughs> what, number two, is it the 19th of August? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my question is to Aria number two, what was the first single Darius ever bought? He bought Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. Oh, he's 
sounds like him. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, is that true? Uh, I thought it was a Celine Dion album. <laughs> Same as you. you said, oh, yeah. oh, I love a bit Celine of Celine Dion. <laughs> I've never bought a Celine Dion record. Have you not? Are you oh. giving something oh, away? So you're you saying that number one oh. is lying. Maybe. Or is he double bluffing? Oh, oh OK, oh. OK, here's a good one. Well, OK, to number two, what do your mum and dad do for a living? My dad's a uh, gastroenterologist and our mum is a school teacher. Oh, he was thinking about that. He looked up to the Number left. one, what does your mum and dad do? Mum is a teacher and dad is a doctor. He's hesitating I and I, do you know, so I think he is trying to bluff me and he's the same height as Darius. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, right, what is, this is to Aria number one, what position did Darius come in Pop Idol? Third. Number two? Third. Okay, I know that's right. <laughs> well right. Has he got a nickname, number two? Yeah, we call Darius the Big D. The Big D, <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, no one. Uh, he is called also Dangerous Darius or Danger, or in French, <laughs> Danger Old. Look at Darius. Oh, oh right. Got a response. Right. I think okay. I know the answer. Okay, no more questions. We're going to stop it there. You've asked plenty. Oh uh, have God. you got an idea at home who it might be, who the real Darius is? But first, let's get to the studio audience. Let's see what they think. So uh, you've heard the questions, you've heard the answers. Please hold up your cards now. One or two? <laughs> Darius, what do you reckon? More ones? There are, huh? there are definitely, there are, about, there, there are more ones. More ones. OK, so we're going to go one. We're taking one from the studio audience. Uh, Holly, Stephen? Go on. Can I just, Hi. can I interject? Oh. Can I just say that the one that isn't my brother is a hired, very skilled <laughs> actor. Bear Thank that in mind. OK, 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 go on, go, <laughs> go on. on you go OK, I'm going to go, I am going to go for, because number one just looks so much like him, but I think that is a trick. I'm confident because I know I know what the ministry is like. Come on, I'm going to go for number two. Okay, okay number I'm two. going for number one because I think he's double bluffing all the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got a mix. We've got a mix. What about you at home? What do you reckon? Number one, number two. Let's have a quick look. Number one or number two? Mm. See, number okay. two's got his hair, but <laughs> number one's kind of got my eyes. Right. Well, Darius, no. this is it. Are you ready? <clears throat> Everybody, and Darius, put us out of our misery. Which one is your real brother? My real brother is. That sound means that we're going to have to take a pause for a moment, Darius. We have to pop that door. Yes, but we will be finding out who his real brother is in just a couple of minutes. Make sure you come right back here. Remember, mum's a word. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ministry of Mayhem. Now, before the break, you left us at a very, very tense moment. I asked Darius which one is his real brother, number one or number two? Now, our student, studio audience voted. They went for number one. Stephen voted. He went for number two. And Holly voted, and she agreed with the audience. What did you think at home? One or two? Well, we're going to find out now. Here we go. Darius, please tell us, which one is your real brother? Cyrus, do you want to tell him? Okay. Our real brother. Is number one. Oh! oh! He's number one. Number ah! one. He's number one. No! <laughs> I thought I could even Look at that. Look. How are you nice to meet you, right? Well done. You've got it wrong. Look at that. Look at that. How's it going? Yeah, pop you yourself down, Aris. Oh, come nice and sit I've got to say, we he's got brilliant. you, man. It, we got you. What you wouldn't know at home <laughs> is that we absolutely double bluffed Holly and Stephen here in the studio, making them believe it was number two during the break. It absolutely wasn't. Audience, well done. Well done, guys. Uh, well done to you, you said number one. You guys a big, rock. A big thank you to the Dinesh family all here as well. Thank you. Well done. Fantastic. But, but before we go, let's find out who that imposter was. Please reveal yourself. What is your name and what do you do? I'm Rocco Webb from Kent, and I'm a drummer in uh, rock and roll bands in London. He's not even <laughs> Scottish, folks. <laughs> well done if you got it right. Here's some more brothers now. It's Drake and Josh. Hey, for the Ministry of Mayhem this week. <laughs> but don't go anywhere, because Michael's going to get ruined with this. Absolutely. Yes, it's time for the... Thank you, desk. <laughs> so then, uh, it's thanks to all of our guests this morning here on the Ministry. So <laughs> Thank you uh, to Oliver in the canteen for all the free food he's got on. And uh, for only 
charging 20p for a bread roll. Very nice. Um, a thank you uh, to all the young people. Magician, of course. Oh, Miller, very nice. Here's what's on next week. There's a sticky situation in next week's brand new My Parents Are Aliens. Those McFly boys break down the ministry doors for more mayhem. This whip cracker man claims he can perform an amazing stunt for us next week. Don't miss it. Ooh, and a brand new episode of Drake and Josh 2. It's all next week. Thanks, and Michael, that has been it. But now it's time to put your dancing shoes on. Let's have it! Woo! <laughs> Walker's Monster Munch sponsor, Ministry of Mayhem.